Uh, how's Glove going? How about we practice a rally first? Huh? We're just not just gonna start playing a match. You know, there's a proper order to these things. We may practice a bit, but we're still beginners. Yep, that's right. But I understand wanting to just dive in, Yuna. If you two are okay with it, we can have a match right now. <laughs> Heck yeah, bring it on. What did I just say? Ah, uh, fine, I admit it, I'm a little interested myself. So, they started a tennis club, huh? They've already got all their gear. Reminds me a little of Elisa's lacrosse club. Uh, club. Club, crub, hub, tub. I don't know how to say this, but Yuna is really fearless. It's really exciting to have her around. Well, yeah. I don't know how good you are yet, Louise. I like to think I'm pretty good at sports. Alright, I'm pumped. Let's get this thing started. <laughs> wow, he is so into it. I need to keep up with her. Hey, if that, uh, that's how you want to do it. A few things in here, actually. Okay. Hey, Val. How you doing, Valley? Oh, Mint, I didn't even see you up there. I don't... Are there actually fasteners up there? Just like that. How do you like that, Val? Hmm, it feels as though I have a greater range of movement in my shoulder. <laughs> right? Way to go, me. Means, what are you doing here? Oh! Hey, Reen! Oh, boy. Guess <sighs> what? I just... Whoa! Look out! Mint! No! <laughs> oh, good job, Valimar! Not quite as much of a fall, but yeah, that's gonna hurt your butt. Are you unharmed? How? <laughs> I'm just fine, thanks. I saw Velimar. You need to be careful. Oh, my heart skipped a beat there. <laughs> Sorry. Now that I'm engineer, I can appreciate just how cool you really are, Val. Well, that, uh, well, it's on the nonsense courageous thing in my bob. People are getting mad no matter what I say. Well, actually, just if I say nonsense, I'm getting mad if I say courageous. I always wanted to do maintenance on you. Back then, Clara always took care of everything. Ah, the silent Meister. I remember her. Anyway, thanks for coming, man. But I have to say, I'm surprised to see you after our last field exercise. <laughs> I thought it would be good training for me. Not to mention, I want to be a reliable role model for our underclassmen. <laughs> well, it would have been asking too much of Tita with all the work she has to do. Okay, thank you, Mint. Please lend me your strength. Thank you, new Meister candidate. <laughs> I'm glad to be here uh, to help you both. Well, thanks, Mint. It's nice of you. Just leave found the Panzer Soul, that's in my capable hands. You can count on me, Rain. I already do, and thank you, Mint. Oh, by the way, Rosina and Monk are here in Leaves right now. This really is the last place I thought I'd see any of them, uh, either of them again. Wow, he ran into them already. Yeah, we just had a, uh, chatted a little bit. Rosine's a sister, and now, uh, and Monk's a director. Wasn't she already a sister? They're impressive, but I won't let them show me up. Uh, I'm gonna work extra hard now. Okay. Sure. Oh yeah, how are you, uh... It's so much fun. How are you appreciating her? She's really brightened up the atmosphere in here. Oh, I'm sure she's just a bundle of energy in comparison to a grouchy face up there. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be happy to hear that. Try to keep her out of trouble, okay? You got it. Okay. So I'm not sure if this was the case in Cold Steel, but the bells do uh, delay reduced to half after Earth Arts. That's the current state of those. Hey, uh, but... <sighs> what the... Is this from that, um... Aeon? But hey, buddy, how you how you doing? Hmm, I see. Professor, is this? It's a piece of that giant Aeon that appeared in Sutherland. I the Army bring me everything they were able to collect. Having told them they shouldn't bother, uh, they shouldn't bother me with this, but who is he to decide? He must have really forced them. So, what were your findings? I can't do an accurate analysis with pieces this small. Though I can say one thing. From an engineering standpoint, the iron moves strangely. T strangely? The alloy developed by the society. Uh, Kuralegion. Kuralegion, was it? Or whatever. I don't remember, it's been a while. 
I mean, they said it once, too. Actually, that's a question. How far back does this go? Holy shit, it really does go... Oh my goodness, it's like back to the wanted monster stuff. Holy shit. They need to make this go faster if you want to get something like in the middle of it. There it is. It's made of an alloy developed by the society. Kerdeligan 2. Kerdeligan. 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 It's made of an alloy developed by the society. Kerdeligan 2. Kerdeligan. Kerdeligan. It's a much more superior material than the special seal used for the Panzer Soldans. But according to my testing, it's nowhere near to being strong enough to support such a big body. Let alone the fact that it blocked the blade by Missourian, uh, made by uh, made from Zamarian ore. Ultimately, it got through, but yes, going to Valimar, some kind of power was moving with that uh, moving that craft. Very well. If we're lucky, we may even meet the conditions to start it up. Well, the experiment's over, so whatever. What did they mean by that, anyway? Hmm. I'll research as much as I can with this small sample. You should go home today and make sure to keep up your health. That way, we'll be able to get good data from the test. A test that they keep. Are we doing that tomorrow? Of course, I've already added it as a mandatory request. I've already counted your students as participants as we requested. Understood. Thank you, Professor Schmidt. Now go on, I'm busy. Hmm. Interesting. It was it. I expect her to be more uh, to be more useful, considering she is Markara's niece. But skills and knowledge aside, her carelessness is absolutely inexcusable. Not to mention, she uses all my data without consulting me. She's never once apologized for her transgressions. Unbelievable. She so sent the butt to the kettle. Well, it looks like even Professor Schmidt isn't immune to the wrath of its clumsiness. Uh, have fun with that. I have lots of fun with that. Min sure has life and things up around here. Anyway, training to keep. I need to be extra careful having you not with, uh, with me. That thing's not rolling right, but okay. A 50 mirror coin. Hey there! Didn't realize you were in here. Randy? Hey there, first year. Which hand is the coin in? Left or right? Oh. Oh, did I surprise you? Sorry about that. Thanks for picking it up. Oh, uh, yeah, here. Yeah, I'm here to get some coffee, but ended up dropping my chains on the floor. Not just surprised to see how common old vending machines have become already. I think they're only common here because we're at the branch campus. Oh, good be. Anyway, I gotta run some errands. See you later. This is how Aurelia makes all her money back. She puts the vending machines in. Did you need something from me? I just wanted to talk to you about something. <laughs> wow. Come to think of it, they are kind of similar. I shouldn't bother him. I better get going. Professor Smith. I'm gonna bother them anyways. I don't mind. <laughs> this is really useful. It's not good to eavesdrop. I better get going. But could I eavesdrop even more? I could. No. Nah, whatever. Honestly, the only thing I can think of is uh, looking for someone else to, uh, do upkeep on his um uh, gun weapon thing that I'm not remembering the name of anymore. Hmm, I can swear there's a tree around here with edible bark. Wait, wait, wait! 
I shouldn't be facing the academy's trees. That's vandalism. Only there are some nice juicy cicadas. Too bad they're not in season. That's a you know, way of looking at it. Wait, does he eat cicadas too? Run, 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 run. That's not something I appreciate. I do not appreciate the general concept of uh, uh, eating bugs. I don't, I don't, I just don't. Oh, have you found a role model for your manliness in Toa, Kairi? All right then, work hard, but don't hesitate to ask for help when you need it, okay? Uh, yes, ma'am. Huh? Hey, you two, what's going on? Oh, hello there, Reen. I was just telling Kairi that he's going to be charged in the medical office now. Until we have someone to officially take over, anyway. Her soul looked good, said it would be good training for him. Oh, she did. Oh, he is the one in, like, charge of medical stuff on, uh, on field exercises, yeah? Now that I think of it, Kairi did do a great job as the leader of the medical team during our field exercises. Yes, he certainly did. But keep in mind, you still need to prioritize your classes and club activities over this. So, be sure not to put yourself too hard, okay? Uh, okay, I mean, uh, yes, ma'am. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, if I need anything, I'll let you know. Sort of doubtful, though. <laughs> I'm just grateful we have so many capable... Uh, I'm just grateful we have so many capable, wonderful students. Yeah, sure, nothing could ever possibly go wrong there. Arabonian folklore. Animism. Fiend. Fairy. Huh. It's the first in the series of three books that will introduce a small number of legends and traditions in Arabonia. Religious belief names the land of Arabonia disconnect from the Zichin Stephanie Church as no single type of animism. Some animists believe that objects in the natural world have a spirit, while others emphasize the reverence of one's ancestors. The animist traditions of the past continue to live on in a number of ways in Arabonia, as the summer festival just being one. Animism may be disconnected from the doctrine of the church, it does not specifically refute the church's teachings. And in many regions, animist traditions have been incorporated into the beliefs of the Stephanie Church. Many animists have, thus, been converted to worshipping the goddess Ideos while retaining their traditional beliefs. Furthermore, the people in the North Highlands, the North East, and the Empire reveal the wind is a spirit and share many fundamental aspects of the religious outlook of the people of Arabonia. Fiend, evil creature that we know most people said to cause uh, most are said to cause harm to humans, while they are fundamentally different from the devils which appear in the teaching stuff in the church, the existence of neither fiends nor devils have been proven. Eh, I suppose. Fairies are inhabitants of another world separate from both spirits and fiends. I don't think I've seen fairies before. Descriptions of them ver uh, vary amongst different traditions. Some liken them to young winged girls. Others characterize them as small people. A number of believers also portray them as being represented by small animals. Hey, Kyrie, are you a fairy? One thing that they all have in common, however, is that they enjoy pulling pranks on people. Neat. Okay, so trickster. Yeah, trickster stuff. That's pretty... Red Moon Rose. I think I remember someone mentioning something about that in the comments. Yeah, I'm still not really into reading the literature. I'm much more interested in the lore stuff. I know those tend to, like, foreshadow stuff in the future, but... <sighs> it's something that I would do, but if I had, like, nothing else I felt like doing, but I have plenty of other things I feel like doing, basically. So it's sort of like really low on my list of stuff I want to do. Advancing the story is above that, so... Maybe one day when I like run out of these games to play, I'll go back and read all them. It's that sort of a idea for me. Things are finally starting to ramp up. Uh, are finally ramping up starting tomorrow. And thus, ladies and ladettes, I gather ye here for an important discussion. That is to say, which one of us is going to handle the vocals? The vocals, huh? I hadn't thought about that. I cannot blame anyone for wanting to be the first of the band and on. That said, this has the uh, this has to be started on PSK, and so let's get started with some artists. I'll pass. Yeah, me too. I'm not much of a singer. Huh? Well, yeah, both of you are passing. I'm the only one left then. <laughs> I'm lazy, shall I see? Anyway, I'm glad the club is all set up now. Cannot say this is how I envision things, but oh well. Doing bass and vocals isn't gonna be all easy, but uh, bring it on. I'm sure I have a beautiful singing voice. The most beautiful of all singing voices. Ah, uh, whatever. I don't really have a stake in this either way. She probably has the best singing voice, I bet. <laughs> probably some vocals, huh? I'm not sure gonna make a lot of noise. <laughs> noise, definitely. 
What are you saying, Dr. Reen? I'm a beautiful singing voice. The most beautiful singing voice of all the voices in all the lands. Hey, Sedison. Hmm, let's take a look. Ah, oh, Sedison, what are you up to? Good day, Master Reen. I'm just fixing up some of the terminals. I have to frag them, so they should operate more efficiently now. You know how to handle Orbital Computers, too. What can't you do? Thanks again for coming here to help us out. Managing our dorms, doing maintenance on our computers, I don't know what we would have done without you. It's an honor to have been assistance. As I was sent here by my lord, I am simply performing my job. And though this is a branch campus, it still has, it still has the same pleasant atmosphere I associate with Thor's. I can even bring us back fond memories of my time helping out in the other class dorm. <laughs> well, I'm happy to hear it. It's been a while since I've been able to reach Patrick, so I suppose he must be swamped with work, though. Indeed, I'm told he's extremely busy with his duties to the Marquis. It's all thanks to you and your classmates. It's safe to say he would not have grown half as much without your influence. Is the Marquis in there in the mayor, then? I assume Cayenne was arrested, thrown out of his position. Considering that, helping out here is just my way of repaying my debt of gratitude. Oh, well, thank you, Selicin, really. Oh, yeah, also, I spoke with the principal. You've been processing all the help requests we've gotten in, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's correct. I was told this was Lady Toa's job back when she was a student. I shall finish compiling them tonight. Please wait until then. Oh, sure thing. See you tomorrow, Celestin. Yes, likewise. Checks everywhere I need to. Yeah, once I talk to other students I'm interested in talking to. Hmm. Yeah, he certainly has the attitude of a servant. Of a butler. There to serve. Definitely there to serve. Oh, there's a... Was there a pool table here before? There might have been. Man, even with that handicap, it wasn't enough. I guess there's no way a beginner like me can beat you, huh, Kurt? To be honest, I'm surprised by how well you play. You seem to be a fast learner, too. I might have uh, a good practice partner before too, uh, too much longer. Well, for real? <laughs> I guess I'm just naturally talented or something. Good mind, though. My skills are intermediate at best. There are far better players than I. If we want to enter tournaments, we've got a lot of practice ahead of us. Tournaments, huh? Maybe if I start to win a few, the babes start to notice me in chess. You take all the wrong routes of being popular. Anyway, you want to call it a day for now? Let's sit down and pick some chicks. Our club hours aren't over yet. You can't just call it a day. Your chess skills have to be honed through research, playing matches, and practicing reading your opponents. If you want to get better, you need to put in a lot more work, Sydney. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you join the chess club in order to pick up chicks? It's, uh, yeah, that's Vantage Masters. Oh well, I, I saw it in like the corner of my eye from before. I was like, is that Blade? So he, the th he, here's the thing about Vantage Masters. I think it's a fun enough game. I'm told it's actually probably similar to Hearthstone based on people in the comments. I've never played Hearthstone. Uh, it's a fun enough game, but it's sort of one of those things where it's like, it's needlessly complex in my eyes because we have this whole game with its complexities and systems and whatnot where unless you all really like the card system and specifically want to get invested into it then you're sort of losing out like at this point in it like I haven't done any deck building or anything I've just played the games and it's been fine it takes a bit long but it is what it is basically the threshold for actually being properly invested is so much higher than Blade was that uh the chances of me, or anyone, ducking out of it and just not playing the game earlier than they did Blade is so much higher, basically. What are you looking at? Isn't that weird to see me reading? Honestly, it is. <laughs> you, you could at least try to hide your surprise. If a book's good, I'll read it. If it's not, I won't. That's all there is to it. And if I can take care of my club requirements while I do that, it's two birds, one stone, as far as I'm concerned. Well, I guess that makes sense. If you get it, then scram. How to concentrate with you getting in my face. Sorry about that. Enjoy your books. Fan the ass what I got put together in my notes on this book once I'm done. If you're done here, then scram. He is being a proper member of the club. How are you enjoying it, Tatiana? Wow, Ash actually came to meet for club. And he's so serious about it, too. Uh, those are some pretty complicated books he's reading. I'm honestly pretty surprised. He's a bit of a hard ass, but he's obviously not a completely uh, removed. He seems 
I, he's like the delinquent that's uh, surprisingly intellectual. I think that's the whole point. Oh, um, you say, and, um... <laughs> I bring the ceremony a teacup tomorrow. Got it, thanks. Is this your, uh, is this for your tea ceremony, Club? Oh, that's right. I've sent a rare teacup from home. So I plan on using it for Club tomorrow. It's a vintage teacup for the, uh, from the East, specifically made for tea ceremonies. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm glad to see you're taking your club seriously. I hope it'll continue to teach you guys about Eastern culture. <laughs> so do I. Me too. Okay. Interesting. And oh no. Oh no. Oh, Major Irving, I thought you left. Well, I need to get more materials, so I came back to gather them up. But all the train times are rather inconvenient. So, with efficiency in mind, I decided to leave after eating dinner. Ha, <laughs> I see. So, unfortunately, I have some free time. So, what would you like to play Vantage Masters with me? You're the one requesting it. Vantage Masters? Sure, fine. I didn't know you played Major Irving. If it were just a simple game, I wouldn't, fine. Vantage Masters is a game of strategy, and it's a good reputation of the RMP. <laughs> it does. I thought perhaps we could use it to teach the student strategy, so I got my own set of cards recently. I see. You really put some thought into this. I'd be honored to play against you. Wow. Sure. Why not? Boom. Easy. Impressive. Yeah, I'm not even. I I've not even changed my deck from the beginning one, or the first few that it made me add in. So it's like... It, it, like, unless you really screw up, it's not that hard. I don't think any of them have been particularly challenging. For example, my strategy there basically was to... He was buffing up his main guy, so essentially I kept my master in the back because his couldn't reach my back. I put out um, one static attack from afar in my back row, buff those guys up and attack from afar, while using my other guys and my small little cards to try to take out any extra ones he could put out so that if they did want to attack I'd be able to put one of those one that defends the one to the side uh, there and if they did want to attack they'd have to attack him so even if I put my guys in the front row to do extra damage uh, with his strong buff master he'd have to attack that one and he used up his turn and basically with that I was able to give it uh, get enough time to set up my um, guy in the back to basically just demolish his uh, master from a distance without taking any damage back. So, yeah. S simple enough. Hey, you two. Ah, why he's pushing himself way too hard. He needs to move flexible about this, uh... Ugh, I'm trying so hard, but why am I still failing? D didn't I do enough weight training? I don't think swimming is as driven by weight training as you think it might be. Actually, looking at them, he had... <laughs> Wayne has, like, a legit six-pack, and Stark has, like, a normal one. So, that's the interesting thing, because if you look at actual professional athletes, very few of them are just, like, ripped. Like, physically, if you actually looked at them, uh, looked at them properly. There's some positions in some sports that really require that. But if you're doing something like, say, like, I play hockey, so I pay more attention to that. For example, if you look at a hockey player's physique, they aren't just, like, all muscles and whatnot. Because you're playing this long 82-game season, so it's a mixture between building up reserves of energy, so like actual fat and whatnot, uh, as well as building up muscle and using uh, using that so that you can play this long uh, season where you're playing 82, if not, if ideally, 100 plus games. Now that's the basic of breathing and using arms while swimming. Now, how about giving a shot, Al uh, how about giving a shot, Allie? It should simply be enough for me to, simply, uh, to learn simply by watching. <laughs> if you've learned it, then now's the time to try it out. Hop in already. I'll teach you all the basics. <sighs> Leonor is so meddlesome. Wouldn't mind if you just let me alone. Oh, you're treating it like a drag, but I think you'll enjoy it in the end. Will it tell me if I've talked to all the students? Shit back to the dorm. Sure. I think I have. I think I've talked to everyone. Ah, uh, Instructor Reen, are you headed back as well? Says Kurt. Okay. Hey, Kurt. Oh, hi, Kurt. Yeah, I just finished my errands for the day. Uh, you all done with your club activities? Yes, we just finished recently. I plan to return to the dorm early today and fit in some sword practice. 
glad to hear you're working hard. That said, don't forget you've got Panzer Soldat training and field exercises next week as well. Even though you've got a free day tomorrow, don't push yourself too hard. <sighs> don't worry, I won't. That advice rings a bit hollow coming from someone patrolling the campus after school hours, though. Well, <laughs> touche. <laughs> well, I am a teacher, and we have like three teachers, so... Four, I suppose, if you count Major Michael. <laughs> what does he teach? I don't. I forget if he teach. He, you know, yeah, he might just be a teacher. I, I, I'm forgetting that he, because he doesn't run any of the classes as a homeroom teacher. Well then, Instructor Reen. I'm sure I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Yep. Good night. Oh, speaking of tomorrow, I might call Class Seven together at some point. Do you keep that in mind, just in case? Oh, really? That's fine with me, but what for? It's something to do with Professor Smith. I'll fill you in on the details tomorrow. You and Altina, too. Oh, it's Kurt. And Instructor Reen. Okay, yes, those two, definitely. I just saw you at the pool. You get changed quickly. Uh, hey, Yuna, Altina. Are right, you guys headed back to the dorm soon? Yes, we just ran into each other. It's unusual to see you two together. Well, what sort of guy talk were you two having here alone? Nothing, nothing all that important. Don't worry about it. There's just something I had to tell him. Perfect timing, though, you two. You see. What sort of steamy secrets do you think the guys are keeping from us, Allie? Unknown, but I do detect some steam in their conversation. <laughs> Altina's really being influenced. <laughs> yes, she is. Bad role model, you know. Bad role model. However, for the sake of Class 7, I think we should welcome improved relationships, no matter the kind. You're right. Uh, oh, I just remember we both have to go shopping. Come on, Allie. Uh, I'm not sure I like the look they're giving us. <laughs> Though, I'm glad to see how close the two of them have gotten lately. Yeah, me too. Altina's a bit of a special case, but it seems she starts to change little by little. As a classmate, please take care of her. Of course. We'll all take care of each other. Well then, if you excuse me, I need to do some shopping of my own. I'll pass on what you told me to the others later. Thanks. Uh, that'll be... Thanks, that'll be a load off my mind. Seems like the students all grew a little bit closer after our field exercises. Unfortunately, it seems like Yuna's still keeping a certain distance from me, at the very least. All I can do is be patient. should do it. I think I'm finally starting to get the hang of my duties as an instructor. Oh, I forgot to have dinner. It's past 8 p.m. already. I'd rather not look... I'd rather not make Selson go out of his way to cook for me this late. Tavern should still be open, though. I guess it wouldn't hurt to eat out at once in a while. Oh, the tavern. Am I 20 now? I'm 20 now, aren't I? Can I drink? Oh my goodness, I say, as a person in real life who doesn't drink. Not because of age, though. Oh, okay, you took up this room. There you are, Messerine. Have you not eaten? You look rather peckish. Wow, Selicin really does notice everything. I think the walls are not as uh, thick as I hope. Oh, don't worry about that. I was thinking of eating out today, just to change things up. What a wonderful idea. Friday is the spice of life, after all. But I do remember tomorrow's a free day. Be careful not to spoil it for yourself by staying up too late. And mine, thank you. Reen just gets, like, hungover drunk. <laughs> I'd like to... I wonder what drunk Reen would be like. That would be just a very interesting... That would be a very interesting episode of whatever. Hey, you want to go get drunk with me, Aurelia? Uh, the only ones here now are you, me, and High Arms Butler. Yeah, it's pretty quiet without the others. Don't instruct to Randolph aren't in the rooms, either. And Major Michael isn't even leaves at the moment. It's so liberating to not have that nag barking at my heels. And when he's not doing that, he's off in his room fiddling with his communication devices. He does seem like he's keeping pretty busy. Indeed, he has his hands full. 
Keeping an eye on this caged beast must be tough. Poor guy. So that is why Major Michael was brought here. But judging from the way she said that, the principal must not be too concerned. Well, at this point, my job is simply to watch over my territory and raise my fledglings. It may not be ideal, but I'll do my best to enjoy my time here. Well, even so, I'm sure you do a great job in typo. It's like the second typo I've seen. Two chapters, two typos. How dare you, Misa? I'm, ne I'm never quite sure what she's thinking. I'm sure people are... I just remember the reaction when this was announced. Uh, being localized by them. I don't know. I, I don't think I feel as strongly as some people. Ah, uh, the quiet night air is soothing. You should rest well for tonight in preparation to, uh, for tomorrow. I generally agree. You sure you don't want to get drunk, Aurelia? Let's go get drunk! <laughs> Am I 20 now? When is my birthday? I don't remember. It's been like a month. Well, it may seem inefficient uh, in a blitzkrieg attack. It's actually essential. There's a lot more to combat logistics than I thought. Hmm. This is... Oh, hello, Instructor Reen. Ah, sorry to break your focus. You're a pretty hard worker, aren't you, Stark? Looks like you've blown right past where we left off in class. <laughs> Turns out my expertise as a merchant's son actually comes in handy around here. That said, I'm not sure if I'm set on taking over the family business. I suppose you must have had a lot on your mind to join a military academy. But Stark, I've been wondering, why choose the branch campus over the main campus? How do you mean? Did anyone get a choice? I never got the impression that they got a choice. I shouldn't really say this, but the main campus has a history of success and achievements that we don't. In terms of your future, it would be much more advantageous to go there and uh, go over there instead of here. And with your grades, getting in would have been a breeze, no. <laughs> You're a pretty sharp instructor. But is all right if we talk about this some other time? I mean, of course. Let me know when you think the time is right. Hmm. Is it, is it now? Part of it is just because I like trying new things. Stay the rest later when the time is right. Interesting. Okay. Are you hiding something? And you have a laptop. And you have a laptop? Boy, this world. It advances so freaking quickly. Mm, practicing your drums. Yeah, it, I, I've tried drums sometimes, and it is really hard to get that feeling for the, um, the looseness of the stick in your hand and stuff like that. I guess you could say that. The only, I'm, a, I'm the only complete beginner there. So I want to practice whenever I get the chance. I see. I'm glad you're really getting into it. I doubt I need to worry about this, but try not to get uh, not to go overboard with the noise, of course. Yeah, <laughs> the cliche about, like, buying your, like, ten-year-old son a drum set and then just, like, ramming away at it overnight. Wow, rock music is so cool. Right? Well, for it, transfer clubs if you want. <laughs> Thanks, but I have to pass. I haven't gotten what I wanted out of the tea ceremony club yet. Manliness. Oh, how so? Well, there are many Eastern martial arts who hone their focus through tea ceremony. Which means it's the perfect way to hone one's manliness. <laughs> That's why I need to study until I'm the manliest man around. Uh, fair enough. Alright, it's almost time for that radio show. Radio show? Aye, there's a really interesting show on Radio Trista. Fans are listening together. I'm sure you'll like it. Okay, sure, I'd love to. Uh, fans have been time sprung up here, no time to. Ah, don't you love Radio Trista? It has a. Uh... Oh, you have an normal staff here. But you. Pablo fights with a guitar. Okay. Yeah, I actually have a normal staff here. Huh. Actually, I forget. Are you in. I forget who's in. Pablo, which one are you in? Are you in logistics too? Yeah, you're in finance. Both of you are in finance. Why would you have a normal staff? What's the benefit? To... Uh, whatever. And then again, this might... Oh no, here it is. A spear. Why do you have three desks? Oh, because you have three... Who else is in here? I didn't realize there's three people rooms. Freddy. Oh, okay. Then that's Freddy's... That's Freddy's spear, okay. I should have guessed it from that stuff up there. You've been playing tennis for three years, Louise. Is it popular in Remiferia? Oh yes, we have tournaments all the time. And of course our leader, Prince Albert, plays too. He's very skilled and he always looks so cool. Hm, I wonder who's popular over there. Is that the guy who was in Crossbell for the talks? I forget if that was Albert or someone else. Hey, Muse. <gasps> Instructor Reen, you knew I was all alone, didn't you? <laughs> Quite the scandalous one, aren't you? 
Oh no, nice try, but you're not catching me in this web. Are you studying right now, Musa? <laughs> Indeed I am, with a particular focus on your history lessons, instructor. Uh, I see. Well, let me know if I can help you out with anything that you don't understand. Specifically things you don't understand. Teacher student, teacher student. <laughs> uh, Dr. Reen, about this section. Like I said, I'll help you out with anything you don't understand. Oh, you're not fun. <laughs> uh, she has that gun above there. And Tita, is her... Uh... I see all her equipment here. Does she not have just like her Orville gun cannon thing laying out somewhere? Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> People are actually allowing me into their rooms now. Those are up there, obviously. Uh, Tina doesn't need to do much with that. What is she collecting now? Oh, she has the tail here. Oh, and she has a little stuffed thing. and I guess she has, like, her equipment for Like, she has, like, the earpieces from it, too. Okay, interesting. Stealth suit. How does that even work? Apparently, Leo's giving Allie some one-on-one -on -one swim uh, swimming lessons today. Honestly, I was kind of worried about how Allie would do in the swimming club. But I, I guess I, uh, I got all worried for nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm exhausted. I feel like my whole body is going to ache tomorrow. Yeah, that's typically how those uh, work. Never properly played a sport before, have you? <laughs> how did music club start it today, yeah? Yeah, it did. Pablo and Gustav seem nice, so I guess things will be fine. Well, that's kind of noisy, though. <laughs> I bet. If you have any problems, feel free to talk with us anytime. You're always welcome to join us in the tea ceremony club, of course. Ah, uh, thanks. I wonder if one of the clubs actually will break up by the end. That'd be interesting. Oh, the cooking club people. Do you have food I could have? Ah, oh, the flavor has such stuff to it. It tastes just like my mama's home cooking. It's so tasty. I said this during class, too, but tea's cooking has such a warmth to it. She really puts so much love into every dish. She certainly does. <laughs> I bet she wants to put extra when a certain bracer comes showing up for lunch. Hey, Sandy! It looks like the cooking club invited Toa to their uh, taste test. The food looks great. Oh, the aroma alone is making me hungry. Uh, it's a little weird that it seems like 90% of Tita's character at the moment is liking Agate. <laughs> they, they really do put a focus on that. Oh, Instructor Reen, would you like to join us for... Oh no, we just ran out of the ingredients. I appreciate the offer. Maybe next time. Well, there's the excuse. Today I was invited to be a taster for the cooking club. As the cooking instructor, I thought I'd end up giving them some advice, but they left me absolutely speechless. <laughs> Does that just mean you're not that good at, uh, at cooking, Toa? You have, like, the fundamentals or something? Okay, who could possibly show up this time? And yes, I know at this point that it's uh, one and done, so... Ah, there's nothing like a bath to reinvigorate you. I don't really run so many of our students here, though I suppose there aren't that many in the first place. I wouldn't mind being able to have a real talk with some of them. Oh. Yeah, that was my first guess. Oh, hey, Kurt. It's all right that I'm here. Instructor Reen, should I come back another time? <laughs> no, it's fine. Come on in. Very well, I shall do just that. I see, Master Yunkafai. I'd heard the name from my father, but I didn't realize he was your master. Yeah, he's also known as the Sword Hermit. He founded the Eight Leaves One Blade School and has trained quite a few swordsmen. But you wouldn't know it from how friendly and jovial he is. I'd like to meet him one day. His favorite thing to do was drinking in the hot springs after training. I see. He sounds like the opposite of my father. I suppose one might say the way of sword has many paths. I think he goes uh, as far as to say each individual swordsman has their own unique path. I'm sure your father, your uncle General Zex, and your brother Lieutenant Colonel Mueller each have their own paths too. Indeed. Though there are many that seem similar at first glance, they are all quite different. Though, they... Do all have similar physiques? Your physique suits you perfectly well. It's pretty close to mine, actually. It's a good body type for swordsmanship that emphasizes speed, which is why you do well with dual blades. I understand that, but given the nature of the Vander School swordsmanship... Ah, sorry, I went back to that topic again. Yeah, let's talk... We're like half naked, it's like, let's talk about our bodies. 
such a weird conversation to have. Not that it's too weird from an actual instructor to a student standpoint, but you know. My apologies for making you listen to my complaints. I'm glad we were able to talk about swordsmanship. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to do it again, whenever you like. Anyway, tomorrow's your free day, so don't wear yourself out to training. And make sure to get to bed early. Yes, understood. Woo! Woo! Yay! And, uh... Oh, this is where you were. Yep. And you need... You're interesting. Hmm. You're a challenge, even. Tomorrow, swimming club is taking a break. Which means I can wait train to my heart's content today. Now, what should I start with? He seems to be really enjoying this. I think he might be compensating for something. Oh boy, I'm actually going to go out into leaves in the middle of the night? How weird. I haven't seen Randy. I think he's at the bar, too. Oh, it's Mommy. Station worker Daya. Well, it's my two little sweeties. Is it a bit late for you to be out, though? But I tell you to go home to have dinner by 5 p.m. Tom, are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, I know. You don't have to be, you don't have to be such a nag, you know. Don't get to me with me, young man. <laughs> yep. That's, uh... That's that for you. Oh, I can go to the stores now, currently, too. Cool. Hello, Starburris. You're all cute, Starburris. Hey, Jinga. So it's like we're this I guess all this, uh, with all the trouble I went through. People are buying out this new grenade like crazy. Let's see. Three more cases. Who are you selling it to? Ah, my joints are all acting up again. Mama said I was, uh, it was growing pains, but I don't want to get any taller. I need to buy new clothing and everything. So she really is just a child. Makes me scared to think how she'll be when she's older. Wow. How old is she now? She's gotta be... I, I forget what she said. Hmm. Oh, hey, I didn't realize you'd be here. Well, well, this is quite the shop. All this grenade I... All those grenades I bought will be very useful, I'm sure. Ash, what are you doing here? Just doing a little shopping. So, general good to you too, you know. Well, if that's the case, it's fine, but... You don't need any more weapons. And if you do get any more, don't forget you need to register them with the Academy. Yeah, yeah, no, no. No worries, then. 